They're finally here. Let's check out the Air Jordan Military 4. Industrial Blue 4? Nah. Let's stick to the military four name. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here. And in today's video, we're taking an early look at the Air Jordan Military 4. This sneaker is set to release on May 4th, 2024. In today's video, we're taking a look at a shock drop pair that I got from my homie Michael. Shout out to you, bro. I appreciate you. He went ahead and blessed me with this pair, so let's get right into it. Starting off with the box, we have our typical Air Jordan 4 box. We have the cement print going all around the bottom with our regular degular black with the red jump man lid. I'm a true size 10, so I went ahead and grabbed a size 10. It seems like with this new silhouette and this new shape, it's just been fitting my foot a little bit better. The older models of the Air Jordan 4 did feel a little pinchy up in the toe area, but these fit perfectly. If you haven't had a pair of Jordan 4s before, I'd recommend going true to size. Now, let's get right into this review. Right out the box, these had that pungent Air Jordan 4 smell. That brand new shoe smell hits super strong with these ones to the point where you could almost smell them without even opening the box. Jordan brand is calling these the industrial blue air Jordan fours. And that is due to the shade of blue that they're using on this specific pair. In videos, it's a bit hard to tell without having a pair next to me. So for the next video, I'm going to do a comparison with the 2012 air Jordan military four. So then you guys can see the differences. So I will talk a little bit about the differences here and there, but I'll go in detail in the next video, just so you guys know. By now, y'all already know what the outsole looks like, but it does have the Nike branding right here. Obviously throwing it back to the 1989 version of the Military 4. We also had a couple retros in 2006 and 2012. So this sneaker hasn't retroed for 12 years, and I think that this is going to be a super banger shoe when it comes out. Now, there have been rumors that there's gonna be 800,000 pairs. I've also seen rumors saying that there's gonna be 1.5 million pairs. Just for perspective, rumors say that the Leatherbread 4s were about 500,000 pairs. This sneaker right here should be a little bit easier to get, but it is a classic colorway, and it's also an Air Jordan 4. So don't get your hopes up. These will probably still be a little bit difficult to get, but I'll give you guys some tips. If you download Champ Sports, Foot Locker, sneakers app, uh, 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 Dick Sporting Goods, and I think Hibbit and Chic does it as well. They do early raffles, so it's all free to enter. I would highly recommend just entering your size, and if you've bought from them before and you have an account with them, you can add head starts, and there is a good chance that you're gonna get them. On the Bread Force, I hit for six pairs, so make sure you guys try that out if you haven't tried it already. Definitely a blessing. I love how Jordan Brand has been using this newer paint that lasts so much longer than the original Jordan 4s and even a pair of the Jordan 3s. Around the 2011 era, you could get maybe like three or four wears out of the Jordan 3 before you start seeing hairline cracks. So the paint that they use and the new method they use makes these shoes last so much longer. So that's super dope. Of course, we have our air unit in the back to provide that comfort. Moving along to the upper of the sneaker, you're gonna see this light gray nubuck that wraps around the entire toe cap and extends to the middle of the sneaker. In my opinion, this adds a little bit more of that luxurious feel to the sneaker. I feel like if it was all smooth leather on the top, it just wouldn't hit the same. I think this is a super nice hit to it and it definitely breaks the uppers up a little bit. Now from the video, I'm not sure if you could tell, but this upper, may seem white in a lot of images, but I'm sure I'm not the first one to tell you that this upper is not what we expected. I think a lot of people expected the original Military 4 type leather where it's super white. If you're like not paying attention, maybe it could pass as white, but this shade of white is very different. It's almost like a light gray, maybe with a slight hint of blue in it. And it's very hard to tell if you don't have a sneaker that's white right next to it. So let's go ahead and pop a shoe up real quick. Can y'all tell the difference? Reimagines, super white. These are dulled down. They almost have a blue tint to them. I'll even adjust the lighting a little bit more to make it easier to see. See, blue tint on that top, bluish gray tint on that top, pure white right there. Some people were saying that they didn't like this hit. Other people say that they don't care. In my opinion, I don't think that this is a deal breaker 
for this specific pair right here. If you've been collecting sneakers for a while, I feel like you appreciate when a nice shoe like this comes out. Regardless if the shade of the top is a little bit different, I feel like we can't expect it to be the same every single time. I think this shoe is a classic one to have for those sneaker heads that I've been collecting for a very long time. I personally remember when these came out in 2012, I was in high school, probably sophomore year. I was on a Hawaii trip and I was like, I don't really think people be collecting shoes out here in Hawaii like that. I'm pretty sure I could just pop up in the Foot Locker and get a pair. Man, was I wrong. I was, I was young, I was naive, and that was just simply not the case. So I was never able to get the 2012 pair. So it's nice to get them in 2024 and fulfill that childhood dream of getting a pair of Military Fours for retail. On top of that, we also have that beautiful Nike Air tab on the back, giving us that extreme nostalgic feeling. Back in high school, if your shoes had Nike Air on the back, that was the biggest flex. This back tab right here is super iconic for me and I absolutely love it. As far as the tabs go, I feel like they've been making it a lot thinner compared to years ago. Uh, back then, this would really dig into my ankle and make it super uncomfortable to wear, but now, it's pretty flimsy. I mean, it just bends pretty easily. As long as you're wearing high socks, which is a must with Air Jordan 4s, you'll be good. If you wear the ankle socks, this will dig into your ankle and you'll probably get a blister. Thank you, Jordan Brand. Thank you for fixing this. Other than that, the tongue comes heavily padded, similar to the Air Jordan Bread 4s that just released. And we also have nice cushioning on the inside of the sneaker. The insole features that industrial blue or military blue, whatever you guys want to call it with the white Nike Air logo on the inside. A lot of Air Jordan 4s have been releasing in the past years and I feel like a lot of them were passes for me until I saw the reimagined breads and these, these were a must cop for me. So you guys let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. Are the Military 4s or Industrial 4s a cop or a drop? Again, May 4th. 2024, you can get them at the Sneakers app and all of the typical stores. And real quick, I was just taking a look at Sneakers Early Access to see how to get a pair of these and see if you qualify. So let me go ahead and just skim over these details real quick. In order to reward our most loyal Air Jordan 4 members, only members who meet both of the following criteria will be eligible for this selection. You need to have taken two L's on Air Jordan 4s from January 1st of 2023 to March 1st of 2024. That's a whole year and some. Not every member who meets this criteria will necessarily be selected. Exclusive access offers will go out to a random selection of eligible users throughout the morning of April 25th. So today is Tuesday the 23rd. I'll probably have this video up by tomorrow the 24th. So the following day, y'all, make sure you guys check the sneakers app. And that's one way out of many ways to get a pair of these right here in your hands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. I will have a follow-up video again with the comparison with these and a dead stock pair of the 2012s. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me at Sneakerhead in the Bay. My website is linked down below in the description. So if you guys would like to support, make sure you click that link down below. I'll see y'all very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Shoot.